Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or depending on the time we're reaching you guys. Welcome back to our channel. It's so good to have you guys back here again. Thank you once again for your continuous and massive support to this channel. God bless you guys. We really appreciate you. Do not take your support for granted. I will pray that even as you support this channel, God Almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you once again, guys. Yes, my people, as always, we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country. We keep blows hot again. This one is regarding uh, <laughs> the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB. We know um, before now, WIKI has declared that um, IPOB, they've been proscribed in um, River State. They are not meant to meet. They are not meant to um, do anything in the States. But right now, Wiki is uh, reiterating it again, not joking with it. It's placed bans on any sort of meeting of Igbo group, any sort. Wow, this one is really serious. And we know this one is coming at a point where these agitations are really rising for separation. You know, Biafra is still uh, pushing on. They are still carrying on with um, the move to break away as a Biafran state. Well, Nam Dikano has just taken this position that in River State is not going to happen and um, he has uh, made some statement. And this in turn has raised a lot of reactions. It has raised a lot of reactions. Well, we'll bring you all of the details shortly. But before we do, please don't forget to like, share and to subscribe. Also press the notification bell, guys. Press the bell until it turns grey. God bless you. Southern Nigeria has been in chaos due to a series of attacks by unidentified gunmen. But many Nigerians suspect that the simultaneous attacks are behind the agents of the ESN. According to Sahara reporters, the governor of the river state banned the gathering of Igbo people and announced the payment of a 50 million ransom bounty on the leader of the pro Biafra group. It is already obvious that lots of top politicians and Nigerians are suspecting the Biafra movement as they think they are behind such wicked acts and attacks in the southeast as well as the south-south. Recall that the attack in Oweri prison, some unidentified gunmen invaded and set fire on the prison. It was also reported that the gunmen released more than 2,000 prisoners. When the gunmen invaded and attacked the prison, Namdekano publicly announced that as long as the headers and insurgents of the Fulani killers can be restored, not any soul should go to jail. Not long ago, the Sahara reporters reported that the governor of River State, Wiki, has put a ban on Igbo gatherings. Lots of people gave out their views and opinions. You know, th these attacks that have been going on in the southeast of late, um, uh, most of the southeast state, Anambra experienced its own. Imo State was the most re recent. We know Ebony had his own share as well. Abia as well. And uh, for the um, Imo State one, that one was a very serious one because um, this is one of its kind to the extent that bombs were even used. Sort of things we see in movies. That Those are the things that we're seeing in our community. It's very sad. And all of this is coming from the top. The whole country is not secured. If we look at it from this angle, it's um, as a result of um, Buhari's failed uh, uh, um, commitment to the number one job that he was um, elected for. You know, when he was um, even uh, campaigning, during his campaigning um, period, security was one of the areas he said he was going to put in shape. The country wasn't this bad. We know that um, Boko Haram was um, in existence then, but it wasn't this bad. It wasn't this bad. That is the, the, the gospel truth. It became worse. Buhari that stated that, um, don't worry, just vote me in. And then the insecurity, before you know it, in a, in a couple of months, they will all be wiped away. It's the same Buhari that he's a, a media aide as stating that, um, is it not just six um, years? What are you expecting? It's just six years. Are you expecting magic that Buhari cannot do much? That well, How much can he do? within the space of six years. It's a shame. I don't know. Maybe they want 20 years before they can actually make an impact. But trust me, even if you give Buhari 20 years, there will be no change. There will be no impact. The guy does not have any connection. He doesn't have any touch, no feeling with the country where he's ruling. Sometimes he begins to, one begins to think and wonder that could it be that um, all of those speculations going around that um, his Buhari, that person is actually Jubrim. 
I, I really don't know what to think because you, you would wonder that, okay, the country is boiling. Even come out and address the people. You can't even do that. You are not bothered. In the middle of major crisis, he dares to travel out going for medical checkup, whereas he can have medical checkup in the country. He can do that in the country. Human beings are in the country. So it, it gives room for all of um, those uh, speculations that what is going on, this man is not in touch. He doesn't even have any connection with what is going on in the country. Anyway, all of the insecurity, we should know that whatever we're experiencing in any state, in any of the state, it's all from the top. If the federal government, if Buhari decides to end in, this insecurity, it will end. He's not ready. Let's record that when he uh, appointed the new service chiefs, the word he, what he told them was that they have to be loyal to him, not the country. One would think that uh, if you are appointed into a position, your number one duty is to serve the people, to be loyal to the people and ensure that lives and properties are safe. But that was not the case. Buhari did um, the reverse, told them that um, they have to be loyal to him. So... Who do we blame? But right now, as all these attacks are going on, it looks like the blame, they are all going to IPOB, the indigenous people of Biafra. We know um, Nam Kano set up his own um, security outfit. Although we know that uh, because um, this outfit was not set up by all of the Southeast governors, just the same way um, the South were set up at Moteku, they claimed, they stated um, that um, they are not going to be recognized, unfortunately. That uh, Onam Dikano cannot just um, set up a security outfit. It's something that all the governors will see together. They have different consultations and talks, and at the end of the day, come up with um, the security outfit. So, for that reason, it's not accceptable. So, Onam, uh, um, I beg your pardon, Wiki, right now, he's placed a ban that there is no, no group of Igbo meeting, call it whatever. Maybe if you are not calling it IPO, but any, he has banned every group of Igbo gathering. In his state, and he has actually put a bounty of 50 million naira on the leader of the pro Biafran group. This is really, uh, really, really serious. It's serious. Where they need to be channeling, channeling um, their attention to is uh, what, what about the Fulani headers that are really killing people? You know, sometimes you look at these uh, um, um, politicians and these governors, it just looks like um, it's politics. They are all playing, they are all playing politics. We, we can't tell, but we know that um, IPOB immediately after the attack. On the Oweri prison, they gave a statement that that was not the reason ESN was formed. ESN was not formed to begin to attack um, prisons and police stations, that they were formed to safeguard lives and properties. So um, I don't know why the blame game is still going to them, but you know, when the report came out, it came out that unknown gunmen. I don't know how they now uh, thought that um, it's ESN. Anyway, uh, the Inspector General of Police, the new Inspector General of Police, they've stated that um, investigations are going on and um, they will bring to book the culprit. But let's bear in mind that 2,000 inmates, they are on the loose. <laughs> How did we get here, my people? Anyway, guys, let's hear your own take down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. So I come your way again with more updates. Bye.